Chef Mr. West and welcome back to the cooking channel. Greetings, greetings, my viewers and subscribers. So what we're doing today, we're making some oats porridge. I know I made it before, but this time I'm making it with the um, old-fashioned oats. Last time I used the the um, sulfur oats, but this is take longer to cook so we have the milk and in there already we just gently stir the um throw the oats in there here it is and stir it you don't want it to um you don't want it to stick so you stir it occasionally you know just take it see what it looks like let me show you Here it is, so that has to cook. I use two, two cups of old fashioned oats. Quaker oats, old fashioned oats, that's the one I use. Can take up to um up to 40 minutes to make sure it's, it's cooked properly. It's not there's no rust. It still look hard there. The other oats are somewhat dissolve already. But this is the real old fashioned oats. More healthier for you. There it is. You have to make sure you stir it until it become blending with the with the milk and the and the water. I use some two percent milk also. You don't have to use that, but that's my choice, you know. Two percent milk. to make sure you stir it so it stays marinated with water it's, it's, you know it dissolves in there becomes thick and you just keep stirring it after it get to that you um you're gonna lower the heat you'll see as we go along i'm gonna leave it here and let you see what i'm talking about see i stop stir it, it the, the, the oats is kind of going down to the bottom so you have to know when to stop just keep doing it until it's blending with the milk and the water there it is real quick i'm gonna put some Put a little salt in it. Maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. You measure, you don't want to put too much. There it is. So I pour the salt in. I'll put all my um my spices in there and let you see as we go along. Oats porridge. I think I made I made some last week, but it was a different oats. So that one cooked a little faster, you know. It was quick. But this is gonna take some time to cook. At least 40 minutes and you will know by just pouring a little bit in your hand just take up a little bit and pour it in your hand and taste it you know the one thing you never do in in cooking only when you're cooking for yourself you you do that never put the spoon or the fork in your mouth 
that you use him to um, cook something for somebody else. Make sure you pour a little in your hand if you can bear that heat, or you use another fork or a spoon. But the, 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 the same spoon or the fork that you use him to um, cook for somebody else, you don't put that in your mouth. That's not proper. That's something we all should learn. And not because no one is watching us, you don't do that. It's somewhat catching a little body now. It is it's coming. There it is. I can feel it in by stirring it that it's getting a little thicker, you know. There it is. So so far we have the um, the two percent milk. I put about a cup of that in there. Um later on I think I'll probably do it. I'm gonna put a little Evaporated milk, I got all that cooked down in the air. Evaporated milk. There it is, I'm going to put a half a cup of evaporated milk. There it is. again right now I have the stove on medium well let me put it up a notch until it the part the, the oats catch the body in the um, thing and I'll turn it back down you can always make adjustments you know careful this is something that you have to stay with you don't leave it and go outside or anything like that just stay with it because you're cooking you have to stay with it you don't want it burn up you don't want it boil over in the, in the stove so you have to watch it stay there stir it you have to understand that when you're cooking you 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 know certain things you dedicate your um, yourself to that if you're cooking some some ground provisions and stuff like that and you have a lot of water in there and stuff you could go outside and come back or you could you know do some other things around the house and stuff but stay with your porridge don't leave it be it cornmeal or oats or whatever it is stay with it there it is it's catching the body now This is what I'm talking about. See, it's bubbling there now. No longer is it sticking on the bottom. So now I'm going to reduce the um, the heat. Put it like a, a medium, a little, little less than medium. So the reason why you do that because when the the higher the heat is, 
is the faster it, 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 it dries out. So you don't want to lose your um, all of your, your liquid. You want it to stay there and cook. Look, there it is. Now we're gonna see. Let's just see when I cover it. There it is. I'll continue to let you see the um the progress look. See it's bubbling. I'm stirring it, I'm right here, so I'm not I'm not really leaving to say you know I'm going too far. I'm gonna sit right around the um the kitchen the table, the dining table, I'm gonna sit around there. I'll be right here just watching this because it's, it's cooking time. So I have to spend time with that. I can't leave it unattended there it is never good and one thing that is not really recommended in cooking unless you have somebody watching it with you never never leave your stuff and um, really go outside unless you have somebody you know watching over it for you until you come back because you never know if it's not really recommended to leave your stove on with something and, and they're cooking and then you leave it and go outside with no one in the house. Because God forbid something happened out there and you don't come back on time, some emergency, and you have to make a quick move. What is going to happen? No one is here to turn the stove off for you or tend to the stuff. stuff. Therefore, it's going to cause, you know, catastrophe. So you have to make sure that you bear all those things in mind. Safety first, before anything else. Safety. So you have to take all the necessary precautions. This is why I'm saying to you that whenever you're cooking, you dedicate that time for the cooking. See how that just blend in with the um, with the milk and the water. It's not it's not settling at the bottom no more. See, that's 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 what we want. That's how we want to see it. It's right there. That just stays there and cook. So I have the salt in there. I have the salt. remember to watch the entire video remember to like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel we'll catch you on the other side god bless welcome back my viewers and subscribers so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put put in some of the spices in there so with the um what I have here is some ground cinnamon so I'm just gonna put half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon there it is then you um make sure all of that is dissolved in there
Bring them on there. And next up, we have the, um, I'm going to put some vanilla extract. We have the ground cinnamon, we have the vanilla extract. Here's the vanilla extract. I put one teaspoon, one teaspoon vanilla extract. The, the nutmeg, I I didn't get to to get the the ground nutmeg yet. I have the whole nutmeg, so I I grate it myself. So you just grate enough in there. Let me let me use my um, my left hand so you can see. Here That's the nutmeg. Wait about. Maybe a quarter, um, quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe just enough to, um, if that is, you finish with your, um, the spice there. You're gonna stir this again. Because you want everything to, to get marinated. Oh, wow, this smell. Smells good. You see the vanilla and the um the vanilla, the, the nutmeg and the, the cinnamon somewhat change the color a little bit. And guess what? It's gonna also change the taste. Taste is gonna be awesome. You let that you let that just sit there and cook. Put the cover on so remember to subscribe to the channel i'll catch up with you a little later just letting you see the progress there we go so you can see how the the, 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 the porridge is catch the body now all thick so just let it stay there and simmer and cook so what is it look here see make sure you 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 hold cook properly this is the old-fashioned also you, you you try to eat one of them you eat some of them and stuff without it being cooked or stuff it is it, it's hard so this way you have to make it stay there and cook properly but here it is so you have to understand that there is a distinctive difference between the, the quick oats and the um, old-fashioned oats Quick oats probably cook in five minutes. It's done. But this is somewhat processed. So this is the the the, um, the old fashioned oats is just the regular oats. It's not it's not um processed oats. So it's gonna take longer to cook. It's like if you if you go buy they sell some form of porridge in the um in the package, like planting porridge and banana porridge and stuff like that. They grind it up and, and refine it for you and sell it. But that is different, absolutely different from if you blend up your own banana or planting and boil your porridge. So you have to understand the the the, 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 the um the benefits that you that you're getting from, from them. A quick oats, yes, it will it will hit the spot, but the um, old fashioned oats we is, is, is more healthy for you you have to understand that so it's just going to take a little more time but you, you know you're talking about time and health just like with flour you have you have the um you have the bleach flour you have the unbleached flour the the bleach flour is this process out but the unbleached flour now is somewhat a little better it just um grind up and make into flour there is no um additives or anything like that in the air so, so this is the oats here watch that and look at the color look at the color of this um 
of the two spirits. You see, because of the vanilla and the cinnamon, the color changed somewhat from from white to maybe um, brownish beige. So there it is. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please subscribe to the channel. We are depending on you to, 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 to work with us. Help us to build this channel. Share the video with a friend. Share the video with your family. Invite someone to subscribe to the channel because we're trying to reach that goal. And we are depending on you, we are relying on you, viewers and subscribers, to help us to reach there. And we know you can do it. We know you're going to do it. If you, if you look on, like watching a video, and you see where you have not yet subscribed, just hit the subscribe button. Then you, you hit the bell. Then you hit the bell, you click all, and then that's it. When we drop a, a, another video or so, you'll be the first one to see it. And some of these are just simple videos that will allow you to, to, to be able to, to make some of these meals that normally you wouldn't, you wouldn't um, be able to do. Because like this one, the, 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 um, the instruction or the recipe don't have to be in the, um, in, in the description. The recipe is already in the tape. So by watching it, You'll see it's simple. Two cups of oats, oatmeal. Well, it depends on the family. As, as, as the family gets larger, you increase. Why well, use two cups of oatmeal? A cup of um, 2% milk. You don't even have to use the milk. You can use water. So I use one, one cup of 2% milk, two cups of water. And let that just come to a boil. And when it comes to a boil now, then I, um, I uh, put the oats in there and, and keep stirring it until it, it, it gets the body with the water. It, it, it becomes thick. And then I keep stirring it, stirring it. You see, this is what I'm talking about. It's boiling by itself. But there it is. There's nothing on the bottom. You say it's burning or what. And also, the, um, well, I use a non-stick pot, you know. So you can use a Dutch pot, whatever you want to use. Is the same result. It doesn't really matter. But there it is, and this is thick. So all that is going to go into this now is the um, we're going to use the sweetened condensed milk and and sweeten this, and then it will be ready. But the the, the recipe is there. You know, one cup of one um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder, uh, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I use um, maybe a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg. I know they sell the nutmeg, um, nutmeg powder uh, stuff. I have to probably buy one of them. But I don't have no problem grating it because when I went to Jamaica the, um, last time, I bought a whole, maybe about a double. So I still have plenty here. And I have my, my small grater. This is what my grater looks like, just to show you. So I bought one of these. And, you know, I keep. I keep my um you have to make sure to when you're storing up your stuff, you store them properly. So this is this is how I store my stuff. I store the nutmeg um grate and nutmeg into a, a zip black bag. You see the colour of the um at the bag that's the nutmeg that gives it that colour. There it is. So I put I put the grater in the zip black bag. So it stays clean. That's that's what you want to make sure that see there it is. So I, I, you know lock it and put it up and put it back in my um, in my closet in my cupboard. Come around again and take another look here. Simple. What? Look at that. And like I said, you can always make adjustments. You can add a little more water if you feel like you want to cook a little more. Or, or you can put a little more milk, you know, um, 2%. I use 2%. You might love the, um, the other milk, but that's the one we use. 
And you just let it stay there. Now the stove is a little above um, low. So you just stay there and cook. It's like, it, it, it reaches the stage now, like when you're cooking rice. You just turn it down and let it steam. That's how we do it. Now turn it down and just let it stay there. And here's the cover. Put the cover on there. There it is. Look at that. That little thing there that you see there is maybe the reflection from the light, so we can take that off and just let it stay there. Look. So you don't need you don't need too much stuff. You don't need too much stuff for this. So I'm, I'm going to over two cups of um oat oatmeal oatmeal. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, half a teaspoon cinnamon powder, about a quarter teaspoon of grated nutmeg. And that's it. Until you get ready to sweeten it now. Then I'm gonna use the sweetened condensed milk. Some people use sugar. You know, I probably use two, two and a half um, tablespoon of sweetened condensed milk and then be ready. So I'll let you see as we go along. But there it is, it's probably just thick, look. And it's all, you could tell that it's, it's basically cooked now. Welcome back my viewers and subscribers. So I'm about to, um, I'm about to sweeten the, the porridge here now, but I just want to share a little secret with you. Um, just something I observed. I just tasted it a while ago. Now, if, if someone is on a low sugar or no sugar diet, this porridge here as it is right now, you can drink it as it, it's not sweet, but it, it with, 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 with all the spices in there, the nutmeg and the um, and the cinnamon and the vanilla, it has a little little taste to it that you could. You could eat it just like that. You could drink that part just like that. So that's something I'm throw, throwing out there. If you know somebody who's on a low um, sugar diet, you can give it to them like that. It will be um, nutritious to them. It will help them. And they don't have to jeopardize the health. So that's something. But I'm going to put like about two or so spoon first, two tablespoons. Of course, you can make adjustment, but you don't want to put too much because once you put it in, this is like salt. Once it's in there, you can't take it out, but you can always add. Just bear that in mind. You can always add, but you can't take it out. If for, in order for you to take it out, you'd have to add some more water or add some kind of liquid to, um, to take the taste. So just bear that in mind. So there it is, just allow it to turn it and let the um, the milk just dissolve in there, like that. And remember the rule of thumb. Don't put that spoon in your mouth that you're going to give to somebody else. Um, whether you're cooking soup or whatever, take put it in your hand. Put a little in your hand and taste it. But don't taste it from the spoon. That's not becoming. Not good. Remember that. So I know some of you might say, well, I'm doing this long time ago. It's just, it's just, just for me and my children. No. Forget that. That's nonsense. Even if, 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 if somebody comes to you, visit you, say somebody visit you and you want to give them some. Don't turn the, um, don't turn the thing off your head. No, it's not proper. Even the juice in your refrigerator. You get a cup or a glass and you pour some in there because some a stranger might come and you want to give them some juice. You don't want to give them the juice from what you're pouring in. So just like the porridge. Don't put the spoon in your mouth and then you put it back in the thing that you do. No. Make the distinction. We have to learn and, and this is how you do it. You know, those those people at the restaurant, I don't know what they do, but I don't really eat too much restaurant food now, but I practice, even though it's me and my wife, I practice not to put the spoon in my mouth, not to put the fork in my mouth, 
use something else, find another method of doing that so everybody will be saved. If a friend, friend come by and say, um, you know, I, need, I need some juice, I need some air for it. I can easily say, okay, let me, get a, let me get a cup, let me get a bowl and just pour some in there. And it's, it's, it's clean, you know, so to bear in mind. So remember to watch the entire video. Because when you watch this entire video, you'll be able to see all the, um, the, the ingredients and the recipe. I think this is sweet enough now, so I'm going to... Turn the stove off and it's cooked. Yes, it's cooked. There it is. I want you to look at that, that brownish color that in the, the, the nutmeg, nutmeg it is and the and the cinnamon the cinnamon and the vanilla gives it. Look there. This is what you call some real old fashioned oat porridge. Old old fashioned old oatmeal porridge. There it is. So it's all done. Remember to Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel. God bless you. And as usual, what we do every time, you're going to see this in practical in all of our videos where we acknowledge Almighty God. We give Him thanks for His goodness. We give Him thanks for waking us up this morning. We thank Him for His provision. We thank Him for His protection. So we're going to bless this food now. We're going to bless it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you bless this porridge. Lord, we remember those who don't have. Provide for them that in due season they too will have. Bless this food. We just give you thanks once again for your provision. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You are the greatest. God bless you, my friend. We love you. God bless you. We love you. Welcome back my viewers and subscribers. So there we have it. Porridge is ready. That's what we have there. Oats porridge, turn it around, there it is, look at that, that's it, all done. So enjoy this video and we look looking forward to drop some more videos so just keep watching thanks for your support again thanks for your subscription and if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe today god bless you catch you later mm -hmm.